Snapdeal CEO has spoken out for the first time on the issue of net neutrality. Speaking to NDTV, Kunal Bell says that his platform is net neutral, but that some regulations are required for the e-commerce industry. Take a look. Kunal Bell, I'd like your view on net neutrality. It's been a debate that has occupied tremendous mind, uh, mind space in India among the youth who feel very, very strongly about it. Your thoughts on some of the points that have been raised in the last few weeks? I think there are a lot of points being raised, right. right? And sometimes it's hard to connect the dots between the different points also. But at a meta level, the way I see it very objectively, would today I be sitting with such esteemed panelists um, uh, if there was no net neutrality in India? The answer is probably no. So you support net neutrality? We've always supported net neutrality because you know, how can we not, on one hand, we are building a net neutral platform for small businesses to sell. Right. On the other hand, how can, not, how can we not support net neutrality at a macro level? But do zero rating services, for instance, Airtel Zero, just to cite an example, actually violate the principle of net neutrality? That remains the larger debate. It does, and for that you'll have to check with Airtel. Okay, but you would not, Snapdeal will not be seen partnering or getting onto a zero rating platform ever. Is that something we can we, get, get we, you to we say? Have, look, we haven't partnered with any, any such service. Um, also, I think the jury is kind of out on what do these services mean. Um, clearly, there is a viewpoint that some people have that they don't violate net neutrality. Some people say they do. We've kind of said, hey, we are for net neutrality. We exist because we grew up in a net neutral environment. And there is no reason for us to not be supportive of it for future innovation in the country, many of which may be competitive to us. But that's okay, because that's what makes us up our game also. And while this debate is going on around the world, Kunal, we've also seen here now it's acquired a political color. Uh, share with us whether you're actually happy to see the kind of support net neutrality has got in India with the number of emails being sent to the telecom regulator, with politicians in fact jumping in and the debate uh, becoming extremely shrill at this point. So, um, look, I'm, I'm a simple entrepreneur. I don't know much about politics. So... Um, I would leave, leave the political aspect of the net neutrality debate to those who are experts in it. Okay, but, but a quick word on the TRI consultation paper because we know Friday is the last day for receiving feedback. Uh, many have actually gone ahead and said that the paper uh, is very, very regressive. There are some who have said that it takes you back to the license regime. Uh, your thoughts overall on, on the issues that have been raised by the telecom regulator in the paper and the impact it can have on the internet industry? Look, I think, look, there is a commercial constraint that um, uh, telecom operators, service providers have that they're spending so much money on spectrum, so much money on infrastructure, and then a lot of these services consume quite a lot of the resources, but they, they're not adequately compensating the telecom operator. That's their concern. It's a commercial concern. Is it a valid concern? It's a, you'll have to ask them that question. But do you as an internet player who's riding on their network feel it's a valid concern? Would you be willing to part with your revenues to compensate them? I think, look, they have to, every business has to figure out how do they make their business work. Right. right? And I have never built or intend to build a telecom company, so I'm no expert at figuring that one out. I think we have incredibly smart people running telecom companies in India. They should figure that out. What we know how to do is, hey, we have a platform which is accessible by everyone at, uh, at equal speeds as any other platform. Now, the differentiation we are going to build is by providing a great experience for buyers, for sellers, and, and focusing on that problem rather than focusing on problems which we don't control.